back to another episode of Last Outer Survival 3 Bird Turn. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, hope everyone's having an absolute, absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better from here on out. Today, we got an absolutely jam packed full of epicness episode in store for y'all, including something that I am. I literally unbelievably hyped about and we're gonna obviously get our hands on with that but for now why are you saying goodbye ah oh, that's not very nice of you kind sir do you hit the baseball bat with everyone you see oh my god travis what a douche canoe right i would do the same thing tph travis i can't say that i'm not surprised but regardless we got the rest of this chopper crew we gotta go ahead and clean up a sayonara baby it's time for us to get to looting and scooting. Wow, nothing to loot or scoot off that survivor. But it's time for us to get to looting and scooting this beautiful chopper event. And y'all know me, I'm always a big fan of the chopper events, except, wow, this is the least amount of loot I have ever gotten from a chopper event. What in tarnation's going on? Ooh, pantalones. Okay, never mind. I am subdued. And uh, this sacrifice of marvelous pantalones will be more than enough to hold me over for now. But hopefully everyone is having an absolutely incredible day that only keeps on getting better from here on out whether that be from the video bringing you a smile bringing you a giggle anything or everything like that does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today i'm just crossing my fingers that indeed do that's exactly what it do do <laughs> do do <laughs> Laugh at me, dang it! Okay, glad. Now that that's established, let's go and siphon up some of the rest of this gas from these beautiful motorcycles because that is one of the best things about chopper events. Not even one of the best things. One of the many great things about them. This one in particular, very, very short in terms of like weapons and whatnot that we were able to acquire. So I'm a little bit saddened by that, but usually they give you an ample opportunity at getting your hands on a few guns and this chopper should actually have one. Let's go in store for us in in addition to a little bit more of the gasoline that we'll be able to use it's kind of like uh it's like a tax return so to speak you know for the tax of traveling here we get a return of uh well we we, we get a return of some gas you know so in, in exchange for all, all the whatchamacall the gas that we had to pay to get here we get a little bit in return so not too shabby if you ask me let's just go ahead and leave that over there and y'all might be like oh my god uh, star what is that inside of your chopper oh let me tell you that is something that is got only some of the tools that are going to be helping us. Uh, and something that we got in store for a little bit later as well. Because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, I like to raid. Player 6270 is going to help us out with uh, fulfilling the fun that we love to have. Am I right? And honestly, dude, speaking of fun that I love to have, we have not visited the destroyed convoy in a little bit of a hot minute. So I do want to see what this is all about. But bro, I am just, I don't know, man. I just hope everyone's having an awesome day because like I was saying, I am doing fan freaking fantastic today and you guys probably know why we got, so today we got hugeness today, okay? Something absolutely massive. But first, destroyed convoy that we gotta go ahead and get into before we make our way over and have a little bit of season seven shenanigans sprinkle in a few of those as well uh, but for now we see what this is all about is this the zombie version or is this the raider version of this event because in case y'all are not aware there are multiple events or multiple possibilities i should say oh it is the zombie version beautiful we got just the two my friend shotgun rain that is gonna be helping us out with uh dealing with a lot of these fellas and uh well making sure that we don't really have to use much at all so step one and gather around the star snipe and sing our star snipe killing song our sta our holy guacamole that's a lot of zombies trying to kill me all at once all right well i already lost the rhythm of the song but that's a-okay because what we are doing over here as long as that savage giant does not get to us is shotgun raining a poop a ton of those dudes and then as y'all just saw we were able to take out a very very large portion of these zombies with the assistance of such things now we just gotta watch out for some of the more powerful zombies such as that savage giant there that man is a powerful 
powerful man. But what we would like to do is get everyone lined up over here. Shotgun rain! And we just managed to take out a bunch of the easy peasy zombies. Pretty budgetily. Is that a word? Budgetily? With budget in mind pertaining to budget? I don't know. I ain't no budgetologist, okay? Quite the opposite. Because, well, as y'all may or may not see, we always go into these locations guns ablazing because, well, I, I, I suppose it. Oh, he was getting ready to punch me. That could have been bad. I suppose in a way we are a little bit of a budgetologist because, uh, well, I, I, I don't know, like we, we budget our weapons, but the, we just so happen to have a good amount of them because of my raiding addiction. We, we have a lot of pistols and other weapons too, but primarily way too many pistols that I know what to do with, which is why I love our go-to fully modified pistol with the extended mag, red dot on mount, silencer, elite shutter, and green laser. That is a wombo combo for the ages, baby, that creates the ultimate weapon to be feared. And hello, more pantalones, absolutely up my alley. You love to see it. I hate to see the lack of a severed finger. Star, you psychopath. No, I am not psychopathic or or psychic for that matter although that would be pretty cool the, the psychic part not the psychopathic part that might be not, not as cool you know on the cool meter uh but yeah no no that, that's not at all psycho of me to want her severed finger all right out of context probably would be a little bit psycho but not at all because sometimes she does drop a severed finger and we can actually put that finger to use and that finger oh it's got some wonderful uses i tell you the most key of which is uh let's go ahead and start actually looting up some of these chests over here too but the most key of which is actually unlocking a secret room with a pistol and some other pretty juicy loot over in the lobby of a bunker alpha which is why the destroyed convoy is a really good place to go especially if you like it tends to be a relatively like it's definitely not one of the hard locations so to speak and there's definitely some pretty cool stuff to pick up as well we're gonna go ahead and kind of start uh, like just prioritizing different things for now am i necessarily grabbing all of the quote-unquote best loot no, but the thing is, unless I grab, like, unless I see something incredible, like an aluminum plate, which is incredible by the standards of the loot that we're looting here, right? Because, again, this isn't, like, a top-tier location by any means, but, ooh, baby, sometimes it's got some goodies. All right, I suppose I will put those away over there in the... I don't know. Why don't we put away... I like the box set. I don't want to put that away. Let's put away the thick fabric and pick up those two. And bloop, we can get that. But yeah, for like a lower level type of location, this is really good. Y'all just saw you can get your hands on some at least relative to everything else we've been picking up good stuff like the aluminum plate uh the med kits obviously are always a very nice pull of this location and uh I, obviously the finger too that's probably like the big pull is the finger you can sometimes get like a free red ticket a few things like that in addition to all sorts of various loots and if you get the other version of this event that is raiders you can actually pick up quite a few sets of armor and melee weapons because sometimes they have guns and whatnot they don't drop their guns when they have guns, but they actually have uh, machetes sometimes, and they will drop their machetes if you kill an enemy with the machete, and machetes are also one of my favorite go-to weapons. Like, genuinely, especially with some of the modifications that we have created, we were able to pretty much create the machete that instead of doing, like, 30 damage, it was like 37 damage, and if we, ooh, piece of candy, it'll get there, drop a little bit later, and if we do get a little bit on the lucky side as well, there's that healer back at home base and if you manage to talk to him and they have uh whatchamacallit that one buff that grants you 20 percent extra damage you can actually create a machete that does 45 damage that is a machete that is significantly faster but just as powerful as a sledgehammer and with 45 damage your sneak attacks do 135 damage like it's 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 incredible like seriously it is a very powerful wombo combo and speaking of wombo combos me and the fair there's a match made in heaven baby oh tickets me and you we're gonna go pretty far today so we did also as y'all might be able to see bring our beloved baseball bat because if you are heading to the fair always ensure that you got a baseball bat in your inventory because in exchange for like a little bit of the durability of your baseball bat you do get rewarded and you can continue building up the reputation that you have with each of the coordinators, which we ourselves are continuing to do because I would like to max out each and every one of their reputations and get some of the goodies that they got. How are we doing with Travis, by the way? Yeah, we're so close to maxing out Travis, dog. 
I reckon, honestly, if we had a dude, he's, he has to be impressed. You know, we're building up reputation because look at him. He's staring at these pinatas. He's like, dang, that man knows how to hit a pinata. You know, that's incredible life lesson. Learn how to hit a pinata properly and you will get far in life. And at least if you know a man by the name of Travis, because I mean, to be fair, personally, he is one of my favorite coordinators because you get freaking carbon composites and an awesome backpack on the free side of the pass. And then if you have the premium pass, you get an ATV transmission, dude. It's hard to hate, except for the fact that the ATV transmission's on the premium side. Pretty easy to hate that. I completely agree. But all right, let's watch some battles. Megan! This ain't Drake and Josh. I'm not yelling at you, and to my knowledge, you are not, like, terrorizing me, utilizing your various nefarious inventions. Instead, Megan has, I mean, I suppose that weapon in her hand can be nefarious, but she's using it for good. She's using it to take down these zombies that, oh, I wonder if we can still do the shotgun trick when it does come to uh, doing this. Oh, she's about to get bopped. Let's go, baby. The shotgun trick. No, the shotgun trick does indeed lead do still function that is something you love to hear oh no megan is gonna go down we should we should have pulled her out of there man pull out game not where it should be megan i'm sorry whoa megan richard close go okay i don't like the direction this is going that is uh not the best coinky dink <laughs> but uh oh we do have some tickets at least from hitting those pinatas 45 coming our way and uh, why don't we? I don't really feel like catching turkeys and running around like a doofus. Let's 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 let the turkeys race for us. Muffin Man, I got a good feeling about my man Bullet. He seems like a great. Is number four really about to win? I actually don't know. This one's gonna be very very close. I I think number one might win by the skin of his teeth. There. Yeah, so we did coin to place a bad bet. We caught a bad beat. Scott Van Pelt would be rather disappointed. Or we might be on a show. Who knows? Um, I'm feeling I'm feeling lucky with Muffin. Come on, Muffin! Muffin man, Muffin man. Nope, my man Bullet's actually winning this time around. I don't even care if we win or lose with this, by the way. Like, it's only a few tickets. We just made a bunch of tickets, and long story short. It's just an easy and quick way of pretty much exchanging five tickets and gaining some easy reputation. Itchy! Hey, don't think Itchy has this in the bag. It appears that the heavy favorite number one is pulling out in the lead. Yeah, he is absolutely killing it. Man, I wish I could be a turkey sometimes. You know how fun it'd be to just run around this track and something? I feel like I get pretty bored after like a few turns, you know? Unless it's like the, unless, unless we, oh, I know what's next. New update confirmed. Not just turkey racing, bro. We're gonna do, we're gonna do the turkey 500. The Tindy 500. Turkey Indy 500. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, baby! Last day on Earth, you heard it here first and foremost. Our inventory is full, so we cannot grab more fishing rods. This one is obviously a cool event, too, as we've gone over, but it just takes a very long time, and you just get a few tickets at a time, but definitely worthwhile. I don't really feel like playing peekaboo with the bull at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Uh, why don't we go? Uh, let's spin the slot a few times. Oh, and I know what we gotta do. Most important of all, fortune teller, fortune teller, tell me my fortune. All right, she teaching me how to stroke. Not what I came here for, nor do I understand how, but I will roll with it. Oh, you're letting me, helping me gain experience. Good, I, man, I did all this experience I'm gonna get and at my maximum level is very useful game. 10 out of 10 would fortune again. Oh, baby, the Pine Grove, you say? Hmm, I'm intrigued. We'll be making our way over there in just one moment, but uh, like I said, I, 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 I like this. I like this. We'll spin it a little bit, and we'll see if maybe we can get pretty lucky with a jackpot here or there. I went over this a lot more in-depth in our last episode as we did actually repair this truck towards its greatness. This is a pretty decent bang for your buck, especially. How did things get so bad? I don't know, dude. I'm just trying to spin some slots here. I did not come here for a philosophical talk with a man who appears to be quite inebriated. Is that the fancy way of saying it? Inebriated? I don't know. I ain't no inebriatiologist or what you McCall might be. Let's go and flip some of these. Come on, baby. Give me the yellow. No, nope, no yellow. I'll take it, though. Purple. That is 40 tickets coming our way. So uh, pretty solid, if you ask me. A lucky chest, lucky chest. Get in my... Oh, baby. Bella. We had some tickets left over from last time. 
You love to see it. Yeah, though, in exchange for, I mean, how many caps have we invested? We're about like 50 caps deep in here. We've already gotten a few hundred tickets from this. It's a solid way of getting tickets, man. And tickets is a solid way of uh, getting some of these items up over here. We'll continue stockpiling them. Let's do a quick puppy show. Let's show off the puppies, because, dude, they're freaking puppies. They're adorable. I'm not the biggest fan of this event, bro, but the puppies are cute. All right. You look like a floof. I will trust in the floof. Floof, will you disappoint me today? Can my puppy sit? Of course he can. He is best puppy. Oh! He is a good puppy. Well, a hot diggity dog. He sat. How to lay down? Come on, puppy. You can lay down, right? Oh, look at the puppy go. Let's go, dude. I think we got the best puppy. We got a little bit lucky there. I want to hear the voice of your pet. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Yeah, that's the voice of my pet right there. Are we good? We're done here? Can I get my prize? I did everything. Yeehaw! Ride him, cowboy. Let's go. 30 tickets coming our way. Actually, like... This is completely random, too. I don't think that there's, like, a trick to this or anything. You just kind of got to pick one of the three dogs and get lucky. I think we're, like, two or three so far with picking the right pups. So, that's kind of cool. But all right, lads and lassies. To the point... Hey, mm, I got one more blast in my shotgun before it breaks. So, honestly... Let's give Megan another shot here. Megan! Don't make me call Drake and Josh, all right? They are, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna, they do not want to hear about this, uh, all right? That you're freaking gladiating for a fair in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. They will be quite upset, I tell you what. But anyways, we're saving our shotgun rain blast for when she gets into a heap of trouble, like literally a poop ton of zombies attacking her at once. Oh, she literally has one health left, let's go! Oh my God! Uh, how? Okay. Okay. We, I, literally the most, I, we will never have a more perfect run than that. She had one health left over. Usually at one health, they die. Well, not die, but kind of like, you know, pass out on the ground. The guy comes and has to save him. That was not the case today. Oh, baby. Dude, I'm feeling lucky today. I like that. Dealer, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. We go to the Pine Grove today. The fortune teller lady. I'm a big fan of hers, you know? I heard that she's a big fan of mine. You know, Last Day on Earth apparently released some kind of promotional video for the second week of this uh, season. And, well, not to brag, but she was watching my video. So, fortune teller confirmed member of the snipe squad slash sniper gang slash snipers slash whatever you want to call us. You know, we are fan freaking -tastic. That's what we are. All right, you, you get a whole face full of bat, baby, because our bat's special ability literally causes the zombies to bleed. That's right. Oh, no, don't make me smell. I don't want to be smelly, boy. I showered. Yo, don't you do that. I showered right before this video started. How dare you unshower me with your spit. That's a weird way of putting it. Unshowering. It sounds way nastier than just getting dirty. Or does it? Hmm. I don't know. Ooh, the shovel. Okay, so beautiful. Here's what we gotta do. We grab the shovel. We dig the dirt. And next thing you know, we're gonna have some rewards popping on out of the earth. Come on, baby. It could be better. It could be worse. I'm not gonna lie. I think the best loot that we have... Uh, ever acquired right i think the best loot may have been from the dead bodies that the fortune teller sends us to check out i i genuinely think that has the best stuff because we've got like carbon composites and like uh weapon parts from there if i'm not mistaken right like it's pretty crazy you can kind of see the treasure chest peeking out of the ground which is pretty cool there too but all right we are done with this it is now time for us to head on towards well some fun because ladies and gentlemen boys and girls ha boom this is what i was so excited for start what are you talking about let me explain because when i explain things i think you will be uh potentially just as if not more excited than me survivors how would your perfect gun and ldoe look like here are five guns the ak-47 fn shka m16 the dragonoff vss vintoras pick one and improve it for two mods to get a firearm of your dreams share your thoughts with us and remember the only limit is your imagination. So, okay, they've listed the five weapons. The AK, the SCAR, the M16, the VSS. Oh, what's this? The Dragonov. Oh, that is interesting. They have listed a complete list of weapons. 
within the last day on Earth that are actually attainable. Except for this one little outlier of the Dragonoff. Something that actually the developers of Last Day on Earth have not mentioned in a very long time. That's right, I can't even recall the last time the developers acknowledged the existence of this gun. And this is a legendary gun, and this is going to be a huge gun. And given the fact the Last Day on Earth is for the first time in ever actually mentioned it and it's listed among a bunch of weapons that are already in the game and attainable and they're kind of giving people a thought experiment here saying like hey you know what's your dream gun what would it look like what attachments would you put it on i think it's last day on earth fishing for some ideas number one they might be trying to fish around and see what attachments people tend to like on the existing weapons maybe what kind of attachments people would want to see added into the game because i'd be down ski doodle broski all right Ah, uh, yes, Sirski, I would be down for some more mods to be added into the game for us to modify our weapons with. But then in this tweet, the Dragonoff, the only weapon that is not actually in the game that is mentioned. And they're also asking for different modifications that you would want to see on it. So to me, it seems like a hybrid of two things. Number one, that they want to see what modifications people might want to see on both game on both weapons already in the game and ones upcoming, like the Dragonov. And two, the acknowledgement of this otherwise mythical weapon. I think Last Day on Earth is getting ready for something big, man. And that would make a lot of sense because the last big update we got in Last Day on Earth that added in permanent content was the end of 2019 star what are you talking about that's when season three happened the last time season three fun fact is the last time we had something permanently added into last day on earth we had the addition of a bunker bravo and these swamp zones after the completion of your atv we are at season eight it has been five seasons of temporary events and stuff like that. Definitely some cool ones like the prisoner and whatnot, but otherwise largely temporary things and nothing new and substantial being added. But this mention of the Dragonoff is quite important because the Dragonoff signifies big things and potentially our next big update with permanent content not just this, this temporary stuff because i do like the temporary stuff it is fun it is nice it is dandy and especially with the battle passes and tasks it's a nice way of getting some loot and rewards but permanent content that is what gets me excited lads and lassies and so why don't we head over here to the crafting menu where we have our only mention at the time being of this mythical weapon which is i mean looking at the crafting menu it appears to be literally the end game weapon and again the only weapon shown that is not yet in the game the dragon of self-loading sniper rifle popular both in the army and mass culture in addition to this we got a few more big things that come along with the dragon up because whether it does become added via just like loot or something like that and it's like something that you can find or if the ability to craft it becomes a thing well 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 if it becomes craftable, that means something even bigger is going to be coming. Because that means the confirmed addition of tungsten bars. Because ash planks are already in the game. Springs are already in the game. And if you're telling me that I can combine ash planks with tungsten to create the dragon off, that's going to be awesome. Because otherwise, this heading to the swamp to grind ash planks and stuff like that primarily serves the purpose right now of expanding your base inventory and like a few workbenches here and there. But if you're... And like... If you're now telling me that we're going to be able to combine ash planks with tungsten bars to actually create what very well will be the most powerful weapon in the game, that would be absolutely huge. Not to mention the connotations of the addition of the tungsten bar, which would then mean, okay, how do we get the tungsten bar? Is it going to be added to existing loot? Maybe it'll be added to Bunker Bravo loot. Maybe it'll be added to a brand new location. Maybe we'll see an expansion to the Western Zone past the ATV since you already need ash planks to get tungsten. Maybe we'll get some more zones that will allow you to get that tungsten. And then with the ash planks, you can create this dragon off that I am talking about. Maybe some other kind of new location added into the game. Maybe in an upcoming 
season. All of this will be introduced, but it all ties back to the dragon off. And actually, fun fact, it's no longer in the game, but there actually used to be a button over here that you could press. It was called the ambush button. And long story short, it said, if you had a dragon off, you could actually set up an ambush for other survivors. So it might be super awesome with the addition of the dragon off for the ability to like do an ambush, lay an ambush for AI survivors. I'm assuming it might not necessarily be PVP since everything in PVP does have to happen over in sector seven. Or maybe the Dragonoff will see an addition to sector seven as well and tie in towards PVP. But back to this tungsten thing, the big thing is that if the dragon off does end up being craftable via tungsten, ladies and gentlemen, that means a lot of other things suddenly become craftable. Oh, we have tungsten? Oh, we have a mortar that we can set up that we saw a bit of a sneak peek and preview actually back during one of the prior seasons when we literally got to call in mortar artillery support which would be insane on top of that this requires titanium bars so we cannot get with the dragon off confirmation of sorry by the word there any of these assault helmets or whatnot over there but oh what is this the safe that would actually be huge because otherwise the safe is only something that's been attainable uh, from the in-game shop a few times but if tungsten gets added guess what all of a sudden that unattainable thing becomes quite attainable mi-24 helicopter oh indeed the helicopter also makes an appearance in that case do you guys see what i'm talking about how big of a connection that this tungsten bar will be the electronics lab. Boom, baby, you're coming with us. Electronic circuit suddenly becomes craftable in that instance. The tungsten bar is such a missing piece to the last day on earth puzzle, man. It doesn't, it's not the missing piece to every puzzle in last day on earth, but it will indeed have some huge connotations, which is why that dragon off finally being like acknowledged for the first time in literally forever is such a big deal especially because if tungsten does become attainable, that means we'll be able to start building our MI-24 helicopter. Does that mean it will be finishable? Probably not, because if you think about it, every time we've built a vehicle, there's a second stage we have to build that's usually more expensive. Yeah, there's probably gonna be a second stage past the tungsten bars, but nonetheless, it would be possible to actually lay the blueprint in that instance for the MI-24 helicopter. So the helicopter, you'd be able to start building there are some big things that tie together with all of this which is why i was so excited to share this with y'all and why i'm so excited to hear from y'all in that comment section down below what y'all think let me know what y'all think about the tweet and personally what your dream gun would be out of those like five guns that they listed in addition to what attachments you would put on it whether that be attachments in last day on earth or attachments that don't exist in last day on earth yet go ahead let me know i'd love to hear about that and also the connections with the dragon off because as we have gone over that is a big big signification and i am hype to see what comes of it so let me know what y'all think of it what y'all think of the dragon off what y'all would think how the dragon off might be because we know that the vss for example is like 60 damage and fires has like a fire rate of two so how powerful do you think the Dragonoff might be? What abilities do you think the Dragonoff might encompass? What else would come with the addition of Tungsten and Dragonoff? What would y'all like to see the most out of the addition of a Tungsten besides just the Dragonoff butt? And where would y'all think maybe the Dragonoff might be attainable outside of crafting with Tungsten? What location do you think would be prime for it? Because personally, I think adding it to Bunker Bravo would be perfect because Bunker Bravo is already insanely hard. And a cool reward like that uh, would be pretty cool, dude. So go ahead and let me know in that comment section uh, down below. And remind that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly $25 iTunes Hash Place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe. That will let you win on today's video. Y'all will go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that will be the winner for the week. It will kick off the weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter it out for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well and if you like last day on earth trust me i think you'll be thoroughly enjoying a lot of the other content going up on the channel give it a look and you might find some more series you want to keep up with but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls as much as i'd love to keep talking about this dragon off trust me i would we got 
raid lined up and room around the street birdie told me he says to me star it's a nice raid so i'm looking forward to it and i know travis is looking forward to it i got my freaking travis uniform on over here we matching we matching baby color coordination that's how you know it's about to be a big day but uh yeah let's go ahead and prepare for the raid and before we get this raid underway can i just really quickly say also i love the fact we get a free shovel from that fortune teller event too because uh, a shovel is a very valuable resource to me as random as that might sound because you can actually utilize it over within this swamp location speaking of the swamp that we were talking about just a bit ago you can actually utilize it over within the swamp location to acquire the peat which can produce a great fuel and also is used in a variety of crafting recipes. So very, very cool to actually have a shovel that kind of is like a freebie resource for that. But we got the explosives, we got the hatchets, and we got the location with our name on it. Well, it's actually someone else's name, but like metaphorically, our name's on it. So we're gonna go and claim it and like do the raid because you know, like oh, like that, 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 uh, that cake is my has my name on it. Like that's a that's a bad example. Cake sometimes do have your name on it, but uh, you know, for example, like oh man, that that pot roast has my name on it. You know, it's like it's like it's like, it's like a metaphor where you're like oh, I want it, I'm gonna have it. You know, so metaphorically, my name is on this base, but literally, uh, quite like in the physical realm, player 6270's name is on this base. So, not to get confused there, but uh, metaphorical, physical, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, hello, we have arrived. Hello, level one wall. Hello, my friend, my friend, my friend. I should, uh, listen, if we might, we might be able to get into this base actually without the use of high explosives. That'd be a big win for me, because I like saving the high explosives for uh, highly explosive necessary uh, encounters. Yeah, so if we can avoid, it is nice. I like the boom, but I like to save the boom. I like to savor the boom, you know? The boom is exquisite, and hello, we are in. And okay, there appears to be a shortage of chests. Chests, uh, but uh, okay, we might actually, as obnoxious as this is, well, I think we gotta chop down some trees that are growing out of this man's home. Like, what in tarnation, bro? Your house is literally overgrown. Like, and then, like, why is it just randomly steel and then other randomly like wood? Like, what? What in tarnation is going on with this base? It's interesting, and. I was led to believe that it would be quite a nice raid. I, those, these other two chests over here better step up big time, baby. My expectations were sky to the high. Okay, can I even... I gotta pick the grass first. Gotta pick the grass. Gotta pick up absolutely nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Well, unless this man's hiding everything in his couch... We might actually be able to get away from this without having to fight a single zombie, which is usually kind of nice. Let's go! Dude, this is actually low-key an incredible raid. Barrel roll left away. Sayonara, babies! That is a heist and a half. Didn't have to fire a single bullet. Only had to utilize, what, like two hatchets? Like, yeah, like, a, like almost two hatchets. And lads and lassies, we got some SWAT armor out of that and some big boy weapons, an M16 and a shotgun. I mean, these band-aids are nice too. You know, a little bit of hydration, a little bit of wood there too. But dude, literally for like a two hatchet raid and not even like, like you could literally do this raid with like level one hatches that take wood and stone to craft. And we literally got a full durability shotgun, full durability M16. I guess the Winchester's okay, could always go and recycle that. I'm not personally a big fan of the Winchester. I don't think anyone is because it's literally such a slow weapon to fire. Allow me to demonstrate that the, the Pine Grove, perfect location. But uh, dude, that's a heist and a half right there. Usually I'd be disappointed with a small base with no chest like that. But the fact that literally all it takes is some level one hatchets. And then on top of the level one hatchets, we just got to utilize, uh, like, just, just get the raid in the first place. Like, you are walking out of there with some goodies. Obviously, we've gotten more goodies before, but for literally just, like, the level of difficulty of that raid, dude, that's, I'm, I'm not complaining. Full durability guns, big ups to that, Mon. Big ups and Winchester time! Very slow firing weapon, definitely not my go-to. Y'all can see that you can do a little bit of turn and burn with this, like, it's not the worst in the world. They, I, it actually used to be worse, if I recall properly. Like, I think it actually used to be kind of like the zip gun, but it does have a very slow fire rate. So it's not good for like an extended battle with an enemy, you know? 
Like you're seeing right here just how slow it fires. It's okay for those turn and burn tactics. You can put some okay mods on the Winchester too, but at the end of the day, uh, investing your mods into a Winchester, personally, I'd save that and try to invest in like some Glock 17 mods, but I digress. But uh, yeah, there you let's unless he's having a nice little raid to top off quite the fan freaking testing day if you ask me. And I cannot wait to hear from y'all in that comment section down below about the dragon loft and the big tease of today. And then, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, best of luck in that giveaway. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay tuned because we still got plenty more last day on earth content, news about future updates coming your way, not to mention our continued progress in season eight as we continue maxing out the reputations of these fellers and well we're gonna max out the battle pass and we got some nice rewards to go over including paul the pinata much to travis is a vein regardless though paul the pinata it's gonna be a wonderful day but uh yeah make sure that y'all are staying tuned awesome videos coming your way last day on earth and others follow games too so make sure to check those out and if all goes according to plan i think this weekend is actually gonna be a very 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 big day as well that i'm excited for so stay tuned for some super special videos on the weekend if all goes according to plan it has to do with a huge once a year type of update for seven days to die so yeah big times are coming ladies and gentlemen but with that said with that done that's gonna go into our bringing an end to this episode of this man is stuck in a tree hey thank you guys a whole ton for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya